Scene five, take one. I have not experienced violence myself. However, the Asian American experience is more like death by a thousand cuts rather than like outright violence. Because of the harmful rhetoric that's been going around, it has brought violence to the forefront of racism against Asians. Personally, I'm not gonna sit still. Now that I have your attention, I'd like you to know I am a mother, I am a business owner, I love food, <laughs> I am not a virus. My name is Jenny Cho, and I own a small gourmet donut shop called Detour Donuts in Frisco, Texas. I was born in Busan, South Korea. We moved here when I was seven, and since then I've been living in Texas. Growing up, I did a very good job being as white as possible. That's how I was taught to be in order to assimilate. That's really pretty much every Asian American kids story. The amount of self-hatred that we have for like the shape of our eyes and the color of our hair. It's a massive like identity crisis that came from the need to fit in. How badly I wanted to run away from being Korean. It is, it is a lot to unlearn. I have an American son, so hopefully by the time he gets to a place where he understands more of these concepts, he will be able to walk out embracing his identity and embracing what he looks like rather than being ashamed of it. Asian racism is so <laughs> unique because it doesn't all look like outright racism. It's like, did he mean to say that? Or was I not chosen to be on that team because I'm Asian? After the Atlanta shootings, we made a yellow donut that says hashtag stop Asian hate and all the proceeds went to AAPI GoFundMes. And I talked about it extensively on social media. We are so taught and conditioned to repress our feelings. Because if we speak up, it's considered disrespect, right? And that's like not, not a thing in our culture. Uh, but it requires speaking up. We got a call saying, those donuts you're making, you shouldn't be making those. You're making a fool of yourselves. It takes a lot of hate to make that call to let us know that we should stay quiet. I have no other choice but to take every resource I've got and try to do what I can. Get one more person to open their eyes or one more person to open their hearts. I have to stand up because silence is not an option. Racism is hate. This is an issue where there shouldn't be any gray space. It's like you're, <laughs> like, are you racist or are you not? <laughs> and are you doing something about it or are you not? Like, are you speaking up or are you being silent? Like, those are your options. So what are you going to do now?